So the big list is out. The 2019 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees. Here we go. But how does this list of 15 now, how do they get whittled down to what becomes the induction class for next year? Joining us tonight from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Anastasia Carroll and local rock historian and author Deanna Adams. Thank you very much. Thank big you. day. This has become an exciting day oh, yes. annually. And this is only, you know, the next step to the big step, right? right. So let's talk about the nominees today, okay? And I'll go over the list right now. 15 names have been announced. They include Def Leppard, Stevie Nicks, Devo, which has a local yeah. tie, right? Tell us. Kent State yeah. put uh, together? Akron. Akron. Yeah, and they went to Kent State University. Okay. Yes. Then mm -hmm. Janet Jackson, LL Cool J, Todd Rundgren. I have to tell you, a favorite of mine, Todd yeah. Rundgren. What a talent. Uh, Rage Against the Machine and et cetera. We have six first-time contenders. Mm -hmm. How did they get to this point? How do they get nominated? How oh. do we get to 15? Well, there's a committee that meets in New York every September. Um, and the committee's made up of music industry people, you know, journalists, historians, and, and some musicians themselves. And it's, you know, very secretive, but... Uh, <laughs> As it should be. Yes. yes. As it should be. Right. Yeah. Um, and they, they vote. I mean, they pay attention to the fans, I think, but... Well, know, I want to pick, uh, pick up this book that Deanna wrote, and I helped. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Huh? <laughs> I didn't know that. No, this is amazing. Okay, um, this is like the Bible of mm, rock and roll. You. Well done. Thank I, you. A lot of work, right? A lot of work, yes. What do you think of this class? Any, you know, uh, intricacies of this class of nominees that you'd like to point out for us? You know, there's always, uh, it's always controversial because music is subjective. So, um, but they're... You know, there's always criteria, just like when I was working on the book, there's criteria to every decade mm -hmm. and who influenced what other artists. And uh, so I'm just thrilled that we have another Northeast Ohio artist in on the list because we have five that are already inducted into the Rock Hall in the Northeast Ohio, Akron, Kent, and Kent, and Cleveland. So that is, a, that's saying a lot when you're thinking of just this little area. That, yeah. And that's why. Let's, let's talk about the fans mm -hmm. getting involved because we want you to get involved, okay? I mean, fans have an opinion on everything, and fans can vote to help their favorites get in, yes. right? So What's the formula? So, um, the website is rockhall.com slash vote, and fans can vote once a day, up up until December 9th, and you pick five. Um, so, you know, if you if you can't decide, you can vote for a different group each day. You know, it doesn't So matter. it's one a day? Yes. One a day. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I, mean, I you, think that's wonderful. You do. Because Is there a lot of participation generally? Oh, tons. Yes. Yeah, but you yes. think it's great. Everybody wants their vo voices heard. You know, everyone wants their favorite Literally. band in there. <laughs> yes. You know, and when their band doesn't get in there, you know, you hear about a lot of grumbling, but eventually they get in there. My yeah. This has to be one of the crowning moments in whether you're in a band or you're a solo artist or you're some kind of a musician, this has to be it. It's like a sports athlete going yeah. into their particular yeah. Hall of Fame. And, you know, sometimes you say, well, they've gotten all these honors and they've made millions, okay, and they have, you know, huge amounts of popularity, but this is it, isn't mm -hmm. it? It is. Yeah, it's the pinnacle. Is that how you feel that they receive it? I mean, when you've talked to artists, this is Most the goal. Most of them. Some yeah. of them don't. But, <laughs> really? You know, we've heard about when they don't show up yeah. to, to get inducted sure. and all that. But it is a, it's a tremendous artist. I yeah. mean, it's hard work, you know, just with any other of the arts. Because mm -hmm. you're such an aficionado of rock and roll, is there someone that hits your heart as far as pulls it, tugs at the, your heartstrings here in this class? Well, the zombies, you know, the... They're, mm. They've been kind of ignored for a long time, and you know I kind of grew up with them. And Todd Rundgren started uh, playing at Cleveland's teen clubs yeah. when he was a kid. You know, yeah. when the Browns were going through the winless streak, I always thought that Todd, when they did win, I thought Todd Rundgren's song "Just One Victory," and then we're on our way. <laughs> yes. I think that was but, applicable. Okay, one more time. The uh, you can fans can vote at rockhall.com. Rockhall.com slash fan vote. I think it's just slash vote. Slash vote. Yes. There you mm -hmm. go. Thanks for clearing that right. up. Okay? Go out and vote. Vote in November and vote for this. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thanks very much, ladies, for coming. Thank you.